Hello, hello, my awesome family. My name is Dale T, host of the Awesome Music Show, and I want to thank you so much for joining us for another awesome word of the week. Today is Monday, June 6th, first Monday in the month of June 2022. I have to slow down to remember the year. Because the year is moving, the years are moving so fast, the months are moving so fast, and we have to just be thankful to God that He has brought us halfway through the year. And if He is the year, why wouldn't He bring us through the rest of 2022 and beyond? So I want to thank you so much for joining today. Wherever you are, you're, if you're in the UAE, if you're in Jamaica, if you're in the USA, we want to thank you. Thank you so much, Crown of Victory, for representing all the way from LA, USA. Thank you so much. And also to your wonderful husband, uh, Wisdom. Thank you so much. And you are supporters of the Awesome Music Show. We want to thank you for supporting. Wherever you're joining from, we, we thank you for joining. And we just hope that today the show will be a blessing to you in so many, so many ways. So as we allow a few more persons to, to join the music in the background until we allow some more persons to join, share the link with your family and your friends so that they can be a part of this wonderful, 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 wonderful experience. We have a woman lined up tonight and she will be sharing tonight on the awesome music show and also i have some information that i want to share with you very very exciting information about the awesome music show uh so we, i'm going to be sharing that with you as well before the end of the show so share the link with your family and your friends and let them know the awesome music show is live one more time next change music big up big up bro thank you so much thank you so much for the support as well and for being a part of the awesome music family blessings blessings so wherever you're logging on from we thank you so much and we pray that tonight the broadcast will be a blessing to you and your family and that you will be inspired this is the month of june we're focusing on men for the month of june and we want you also to be blessed to be blessed yes bro blessings 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 and we want there are so many changes that i have to be making we are making from from the inside read the show just to stay relevant and also to avoid uh interruptions from copyright agents we just hope that you will be with us as we make these changes also we are contemplating a very needed name change but we'll tell you more about that for the summer as we go in the summer and as we try to launch out for the summer we have a very exciting theme coming up for july and august and we know some schools are already off in the u.s but we're going to be working with the theme for the men for the month of june and we want to focus on the young people during the summer all right so look out for those changes as we make the show bigger and better thank you so much pastor phyllis the all the way from queens new york thank you so much monica mclean yes yes waiting to hear from our guests thank you so much for the link it's all possible because of you and this is really 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 amazing all right so we give ourselves a few more minutes and then we're going to be 
inviting our guests to be a part of this wonderful, wonderful broadcast today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate your support. Your two and God is just amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. God, thanks for every single person. Thank you so much, Lorraine Barnes. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. And thank you for joining. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I'm not sure whatever you're going through today. I'm just hoping that this broadcast will be a blessing to you and to your family as you continue to support the awesome music show and all that we do. Several, several, several interviews. I've lost count of the amount of interviews that we have done on the show, interviews of artists, interviews of musicians, interviews, and we have done um, talk show discussions, and it continues, continues to be a great impact to the community, to those who are tuned into the show every single Monday, every single Friday, and it's just a blessing, it's just a blessing. And we are we are we are excited to share another show with you. So wherever you are, thank you so much for your support. My mother Shirley and my father, they're always on. And it's really, really such a blessing to have you on. Thanks for the encouragement. Thanks for instilling in us all 11 children the good values so that we can all be excelling in different, different ways. And it's just a blessing. So I want to say big up to my father, Mr. Liebert. We we'll call him Papa T. And also my mom, Mama Shirley. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks to my family for always supporting the show as well. And for always sending out the link and, you know, inviting people to be a part of the show. It's really, really a blessing. So tonight, it's my pleasure to invite, to share with us tonight and to encourage us. A very, very good friend. I'm saying a very, very good friend because since we connected, we have been talking as if we have known each other for a long time. And it's just a blessing. And I want to thank my cousin, also Monica McLean, for the connection and for allowing us to have this wonderful connection and for enriching the show with persons of this caliber. And tonight it's no different that we're going to be having a wonderful show. So tonight I speak. Of no, no other person in the awesome world of week for Monday, June 6, 2022. She is a renowned author, she is a speaker, she is a mentor, and I'm gonna add that she is a wonderful prayer warrior and a woman of God. And it's my pleasure to invite to the awesome music show, my sister and friend Karen. C. Johnson. Thank you so much, sis, for joining us. How are you tonight or today, your case? How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I am wonderful as always. Blessings, blessings, blessings. It's really good. Finally, and it was really good that you have allowed yourself to be used of God in this wonderful, wonderful way. And I am excited as to what god will do through the message today and i'm sure those who are tuned in today will also be excited to hear what god is going to say and i always tell people it's not what we want to say we are saying only what god wants us to say because we're only his vessel and i'm really really happy Amen. for that all right so the floor is yours we are we're, we're the, the month the theme for the month of 
June is we're focusing on men and we want or there's so much that we can say about men and, and the theme for the month and the vision on a mission and it's really really a, a very very powerful theme so today you will be sharing and as as you hear the way god wants you to share and that's just that's just awesome all right sis so the floor is yours you can take it away and let god use you be blessed Alrighty, thank you so very much. And let me add my quota of welcome to all those who are joining us. And I am confident that we will be blessed as we listen to the word of God. So the man, the vision on a mission. God is indeed an awesome God. And I was impressed to title my little discourse process proceeds purpose process proceeds purpose let us pray not i but christ be honored loved exalted not i but christ be seen be known be heard christ only christ no self-importance bearing Christ, only Christ, here and eternally. So speak, Lord, to me as you speak through me. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Our scripture of meditation for today comes to us from Jeremiah 29, and I'll read in your hearing verses 11 through 13. The word of God says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall he call upon me, and he shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And he shall seek me and find me when he shall search for me with all your heart. Process proceeds purpose. So in other words, as you journey to your purpose, you have to go through varying processes. And this afternoon, I'm going to be looking at two very extraordinary men. Our first patriarch, Joseph. I'm sure most of us, if we are Bible-believing Christians, and even if we're not Christians, if we've had any interaction with scriptures would have some idea of the narrative of joseph but for those of you who haven't in your spare time you can go through genesis chapter 37 right up to genesis chapter 50 where you can read in depth in details about the life of joseph Starting at chapter 37, where Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers. But before I get there, just a little backdrop to Joseph. He was born into a really complex family where his father Jacob himself had an interesting past and he had four wives, many children. Joseph was the first, but he was the child of Jacob's old age. So he was really very loved by his father because not only was he the son of Jacob's old age, 
but he was for the love of Jacob's life because Jacob really was in love with Rachel. But he was deceived into marrying Rachel's older sister, Leah. Plus he had children with both Rachel and Leah's handmaids or their maids, their helper. What picture with me? A 17-year-old boy sold into slavery, going, being taken by strangers into a strange land. He had no idea where he was going or what would become of him. I can just imagine how scared he must have been because after all, all he did was try to be nice to his brothers and they hated him. Research tells us that Jacob had planned to make Joseph beneficiary to the covenant or the birthright benefit of a firstborn because he really loved Joseph. For this reason, his brothers hated him. They hated him so much they wanted to get rid of him in any and every way possible. But when you have a purpose, and every one of us, I want you to know that we are all here for a special purpose. We all have hopes and dreams, visions and aspirations. And God will not allow any person to kill the dream, the purpose for which he would have called us. Jacob Joseph was also a dreamer and he had dream. I remember someone once said they thought that Joseph probably was a show off. He was a bragger kind of a thing because he was always telling his brothers, you know, about his dreams. But I don't necessarily buy into that. I want to believe that Joseph understood a little bit about the calling of God upon his life from an early age. And even though there were times when his father would have sent him to visit with his brothers, whether to take food for them or for whatever reason, just to check to see how they were doing, there were times, scripture tells us, that he would bring back a negative report about them to the father. And nobody likes a snitch, right? But as a boy, I believe he was just doing what the normal human instinct calls for. You know, you see wrongs and you want to point out wrongs, but then you won't always be popular or loved when you see evil and you make a point of bringing it to someone, especially someone in authority, attention. So his brothers hated him and they sold him into slavery. But God's favor was upon Joseph. Joseph's process was not easy. But there was a purpose, a divine purpose to Joseph's process. He was sold Potiphar. And God's favor was upon him and great authority was given him in the house of Potiphar. But we know that where there is a plan for good, there is always a plan for evil. And so Mrs. Potiphar's eyes were upon Joseph and she wanted to have her way with him. Young, virile, masculine, I can well imagine, handsome young man. Burning in her loss for him, she tried to have her way. And that was such a good, godly young man. Joseph was such a good and godly young man. How could I do this evil and sin against my God? 
was his response. And when he ran away, his coat was left in Mrs. Potiphar's hand. And it is said, hell hath no fury than that of a woman scorned. And so she made sure that Joseph would pay dearly for rejecting her. He was cast into prison. <laughs> Many times we are accused wrongfully and we end up paying even for things that we didn't do. Joseph was thrown in prison for something he was not guilty of. But it is exciting because the narrative tells us even there, God's favor was upon him. And so in no time, the jailer, the warden, the, warden, the prison warden found favor with Joseph. And he, he gave over everything, as it were, to Joseph. So Joseph, as it were, were running the ward. God's favor continued because two of his fellow prisoners, the baker, and the butler dreamed. And God used Joseph to interpret their dreams and it came just as God told Joseph to tell them the interpretation. The baker was killed and the cup bearer was restored and he promised, I'm going to put in a word to Pharaoh for you. And of course, this did not happen until Two years later, maybe some of us would say, boy, in the coolie, he promised that he would have put in a word. But guess what? Joseph's process was preparation for his purpose. Stay with me and see where I'm going. Your process, however difficult it may seem, could it be that God is preparing you for his greater purpose? And so two years later, Joseph was told Pharaoh had his dream and Joseph received the opportunity to go and through God give Pharaoh the interpretation to his dream. Now it was time for promotion. Joseph was now being taken into the great purpose of becoming prime minister of Egypt. Before I give us the conclusion of Joseph's narrative, let's look a little bit at comparing Joseph with Jesus. The scripture says, and the child grew and increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Jesus came to this world as a babe. He lived a sinless and a perfect life. And eventually, he died for our sins. After Joseph would have been set up in his purpose as prime minister of Egypt, the time now came, famine was on the land. And his brothers now had to come to Egypt. To backtrack a little, I can remember when Joseph would have shared with his brothers the dreams of all the, his grain and all his brothers, they made obsidians to him. And they wanted to know if they were going to have to bow to him. Even his father wondered about it, but the scripture says Jacob kept that in his heart. And even though he would have publicly rebuked Joseph, he kept it in his heart 
because somehow the spirit would have probably impressed upon him the fact that the boy was onto something. Many times his brothers tried to destroy him, to kill the dream as it were. But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Joseph's life was spared for a purpose. His life was spared to save the lives of the nation of Israel. The promise made to Joseph's great grandfather Abraham that a great nation would come of him. That very promise was handed down to his grandfather Isaac, was handed down to his father Jacob, and by extension to Joseph. Yes. Tamika, purpose never dies. Purpose cannot die. I'll share with you a little personal scenario. Purpose cannot die. A while ago, I sowed some pumpkin seed in my yard. And it sprung up. A pumpkin vine sprung up. And it was there looking droopy and like it wasn't going to make it. it was there for quite a while so after a while when the gardener came to clean up the yard i said to him you know what just cut it out as a matter of fact i do, i said i'm gonna dig it up. and i dug it up myself and i just threw it over the fence what did i do i dug it up out of the ground and i threw it over the fence behind my yard and my brothers and sisters i kid you not that vine began to spread. It grew and it spread and it grew and it spread. I had even captured a video. I eventually destroyed it. But I got nine, nine pumpkins from that vine that I thought had died. I remember when I threw it over there and after a while when I saw how it was spreading and carrying on, a friend came to visit me and I showed it to him and his exact words were, just what Tamika, purpose, purpose cannot die. Purpose never dies. So I want to encourage you today, whoever you are, whatever you are going through, have you stopped to consider? Have you stopped to consult with the master, the giver of life and the one who would have set in place a purpose for your life? Have you stopped to consider and to consult with him to find out what his purpose is for your life? Have you? If you haven't, I encourage, I implore you right now, stop and consult with the chief architect of your life, Jesus Christ, and find out from him the purpose for your life. Many times we believe that our purpose here is to amass wealth or to get education, wives, husbands, children, whatever. And while nothing is wrong with these things, because these are blessings that God himself can and will bestow upon us, is that our ultimate purpose? I will tell you the ultimate purpose that God has for each and every one of us is to save us from sin, not to keep us comfortable in this sin-occupied space. In Luke 2 verse 49, permit me to go there. Luke 2 verse 49, the Bible tells us, and he said unto them, 
How is it that he sought me? Wist he not that I must be about my father's business? That statement was Jesus at age 12. When after three days of searching, his parents finally found him in the temple, reasoning with the lawyers and doctors and the society's great. And they were so concerned. How could he have been missing? And he could have said to them at that age, why were you concerned? Why were you searching for me? Don't you know that I must be about my father's business? At age 12, Jesus understood his purpose. His purpose was to come, live a sinless life, died the worst sinner's death, so that you and I can live the best redeemed life. While it is good to have a vocation and nothing is wrong with that because Jesus himself had a vocation. He worked in the carpenter shop with his father Joseph, didn't he? And Joseph would have done many things along the process of being prepared to get to the higher purpose of prime minister. He worked in the jail. He worked in Potiphar's house. So there is nothing wrong with work. We were created to work because when God, through the six days of creation, created earth, he placed man and woman in the garden and gave them the occupation to dress and to keep, to name everything. So it is important to work. But should the work become more important than the purpose for which we were called by God? Should it? In Matthew 6, 33, Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And some, th some things will be added unto us. That's what the, the scripture says, right? And some things. Of course not. It said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things. Everything else will be added unto us. God knows the plans he has for us. So while as children, parents may have expectations of their children, I want to caution us as parents, be careful. Because if your expectation is not in alignment with God's plan, you may well be disappointed. Our expectation should be that which God has planned for us. That which God has planned for our children. Let us pray. I remember when my second born was in primary school and he was in grade four about to prepare for what we have in Jamaica as the, oops, the name just slipped my memory, but there is a preparation, progression to his primary school education. There is the, the GSAT now, which is the exit exam for, from primary school. Transition to high school. And I remember when he was in grade four and I said, Abba, I'm asking you, please. I would like for him to go to this school. But it's not what I would like. It's what your desire is for him. I forgot. And when he got to grade six and he did his exams and results came out, my heart left my body. Yes. But almost immediately, the Spirit of God took over and reminded me that I had asked. And I said, oh, God, you are amazing. Thank you. And so that evening when my son came home bawling and disappointed, I was able to embrace and comfort him and said, it is well done. Because it doesn't matter where you go. It's what you choose to do where you go. God is amazing. 
He has a plan and a purpose for your life. Will you allow that plan and that purpose to materialize? Or are you seeking to own the world and everything in it, forgetting that the world already belongs to God? Someone, when Jesus was here among men, wanted to spend some time with him. And Jesus looked at him and Jesus said, the foxes of wolves, the birds of the air of nest, but the son of man has no place to lay his head. He owned the world, yet he had nothing because he understood the great purpose for which he was sent. While we may engage in various different vocations, let us not forget our great calling is to be heavenly kingdom builders. As we seek to occupy until Jesus comes, let us not become those like those in the world who are seeking to hold the world and everything else but let us seek first the kingdom of god be never mindful that the kingdom of god is not meat and drink but righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost god has a plan for your life he has a plan for my life he has a plan for every life and so I implore you, as I'm about to wrap up, if you have not yet done so, if you have not yet realized your purpose, as our scripture of meditation would have encouraged us, seek the Lord and he shall seek me, the Lord says, and he shall search for me and find me when he has Search for me with all your heart. Joseph understood his purpose. And so after his father Jacob passed and his brothers were now really terrified because they thought, aha, uh -huh, for sure he's going to get us now because father is out of the way. But with the love of God and recognizing the greater calling for which he was called, he could say to his brothers in love, look, don't worry. You meant it for evil, but God allowed it for good to save lives. And today we know the 12 tribe of Israel while Jacob is not, sorry, Joseph is not um, physically named among the tribes. His two sons are Manasseh and Ephraim. They make up part of the, the tribe of Israel. So whoever may be coming at you, and it seems as if they are bent, set on, destroying your purpose, killing your dream. Just take it to the Lord in prayer. Give it to God. Because remember, the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. You can't fight and remain spiritual. But when you allow God to fight for you, you are more than victorious because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Take your burdens to the Lord. And remember, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For those who come to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Your purpose can and will be realized if you trust in the Lord with all your heart, not leaning to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledging him, just watch him direct your path. 
Hold on, my brother. Hold on, my sister. Seek with everything in you to realize that purpose that God has for you. Trust God. Nowhere in the narrative did I see or hear of Joseph complaining of how he was unfairly treated. We didn't see, I don't see it anywhere. So it says to me that we should, Jesus never complained. Look at all he went through. Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. And he died the worst sinner's death. And the scripture says he thought it all joy. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. That was his purpose. And he considered it a joy to do it, to die for you and to die for me. Paul had a lot of thorns in his flesh or a specific thorn in his flesh that he prayed about. Satan buffeted him. But God said, my grace is sufficient. For in your weakness, my strength is made perfect. Will you trust God today with your process taking you into your purpose? The road may be long, sometimes winding and steep and the hills and the valleys, the hops and the downs, the highs and the lows. Jesus likened himself in John 15 to the vine. And if, if any of us know about the, the grape process, I watch the tales of a vineyard. And the vine dressers, when they show you that pruning tool, a wash, it is sharp. When it clips, the vine goes, um. I can just imagine if the, if the vine had life, it would have screamed out because that if that were to catch any of us, we would scream in so much pain. But at the end of that seemingly painful process, the most lush, Juicy, juicy grapes are produced in order for us to truly get to that place where our characters are reflecting Christ. The fruit of the Spirit must be made manifest in us. And it's one fruit. The fruit of the Spirit is love. Love is manifested in goodness, gentleness, meekness, temperance, long-suffering, patience. We have to reflect Christ's character, which was the ultimate purpose of Christ. Coming here to show us what God the Father looks like and to reconcile us back to God the Father because sin separated us, but Christ came and died to reconcile us back. That's Christ's ultimate purpose. Joseph's ultimate purpose was realized. You and I, our ultimate purpose can be realized. But we need to let go and let God have his way. Trust in him completely with the process. Not trying to, to do, but just to stand still and know that he's God and that he changed not. And he who has begun a good work in you is able to see it through. So my brother, are you longing to get back to that priestly role that God originally called you to be. That's your purpose. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. His arms are outstretched, ready and waiting to receive you and to take you into that purpose as you occupy until Jesus come and that final ultimate purpose of making it into eternity with Jesus. I trust that you would have been blessed as you are encouraged and reminded. God has a plan for your life and for my life. 
A man's life does not consist in the abundance of things which he possesses, but in what he or she believes that the Son of Man has done for you, for me. Let us pray. Awesome God, amazing Abba. Oh, our extraordinary Father. Indeed, Lord, you are an awesome wonder. And how can we tell you thanks? Thanks for all you have done and continue to do. We thank you for our purpose. And we thank you for our process in getting to our purpose. Sometimes painful, sometimes heart-rending, sometimes nerve-wracking, sometimes just really horrible and obnoxious because that's what sin is and that's what sin does. But we thank you, God, because you promise that we need not be afraid because you will be with us. And not only did you promise to be with us, you promised never to give us more than we are able to handle, but will with every temptation make a way of escape. And for that, we give you thanks. We give you praise, O oh God, because you are God and there is none other. You are God and you change not. You are God and you will be exalted in all of the earth. You will be exalted among the heathen. So as we are people who have been called and set apart for that specific purpose to let the light of Jesus shine through us so that others looking on will see our good work but come to glorify you, O oh Father. Thank you for our process. And thank you that no matter what may be the test, you will take care of us. You've got us and it is well. We praise you, we honor, we lord and adore you. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. What can I say that awesome, 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 and God has certainly used you. The title alone is for me. Process, proceeds, purpose. And that is so, that is so profound. So many of us get sidetracked by the yes. process. <laughs> yes. Yes. And when there, there's some, some amazing things that happened while you were speaking, you spoke from Jeremiah 29, 11, and this has been a scripture that has been used on this show several times. I even mm -hmm. shared from the scripture a few weeks ago. A friend of mine, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm hoping I'm quoting correctly he did a message somewhere in the u.s recently that spoke about don't get discouraged by the process or the journey and when i listen to him i'm saying whoa this, this is so amazing so i'm encouraged and there are so many things that you said tonight that i take for myself so viewers if you don't want to take the part that's for your for you then that's really up to you but i'm taking the encouragement tonight as a man listening to the story of joseph how all the things he went through but he still stayed the course you asked a very important question will you allow the plans god has for you to materialize and that is so profound that's such a powerful question because so many times we get sidetracked by the process yes. and we yes. walk away before yes. the purpose comes to maturity. And that's so powerful tonight. I want to thank you so much, my sister, for sharing tonight. It's so powerful. And God using you in such an awesome way to share family and very family as the spirit with you. And that's so awesome. And I'm sure if there's a man on this platform tonight, there's a woman, there's a boy or girl, you will be blessed by this message tonight. Jeremiah 29, 11 uh, to 13. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 13. Those, that's the scripture quoted here tonight. And it's just a blessing to have you. I want to take special time out to just greet some of our
steel balls thank you so much to campbell as always jackie Dun jackie dunn thank you so much sir davis thank you so much as well for being on the platform lauren barnes i think i said hello to you before and also my very very good cousin monica mclean thank you so much on the instagram platform terence underscore carvey thank you so much for joining and if you're on tonight and i did not mention your name i want you to know that we totally totally appreciate you being on tonight and we really really appreciate the the support for the awesome music show we will be having and if today was so awesome can you just imagine what friday will be like she is a speaker she's an author and she is a mentor and this is her information she's available for speaking engagements and mentorship sessions so you can have her you can invite her this is the number one eight seven six eight one seven six one nine zero or her email address author karen cj at gmail.com and she has a wonderful wonderful book and we're going to be talking about this wonderful book on friday from nightmares yes. to miracle from yes. nightmares to miracles the story yes. of my life and I, i'm just excited to look to to hear what you have to share with us on friday and i want every yes. single person that's on tonight to rejoin us on friday same time 12 midday jamaica time same links um yes. same platforms daily music on youtube daily music on facebook and also on my personal page dale thompson and also if you're on instagram you can join us on daily music underscore all uh easy links that you can remember and we want you to share this link with your family and your friends share it as much as you can so that they join us on friday we can have double or triple the amount of persons we have on tonight because this has been truly also informed tonight before we allow our sister to go thanks so much pastor phyllis as i was blessed by the message i was indeed blessed as well i sat here very quietly as she as she 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 ministered to us and i'm sure this this will go far and it's our prayer that people will watch this broadcast over and over and over someone 10 20 years from now will go on youtube go on facebook find this message and it will will be a blessing to them that's the power of social media and power of the word and i want to thank you so much my sister for sharing and as you're on i want to share we were talking earlier before about this wonderful Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. And the awesome music yes. show has been nominated in the ABGMA Awards 2022. Yes. Totally, yes, totally, totally. Uh, I know a lot of people might be saying, How come it's surprising what you're doing this and you're doing that? So, guess what? I want to share this link with you tonight mm -hmm. and I want you to be able to to join and to yes. Yes. the voting process all yes. right gma awards so rise music.com slash vote a b g m a that's the antigua and barbuda gospel music awards 2022 mm -hmm. and once you click on that link you're going to click on the word vote and then you're going to see the category media and you vote option number two which is the awesome music show hosted by neil t and it's the, the, you're voting for the best radio show entertainment for 2022 okay. and we really really appreciate your support you can vote several several times from the information i'm getting so don't be afraid to vote and vote send the link to your family and your friends so that they yeah. can vote as well so arise music.com slash vote a b g m a click in the voting category number two media and the option is option two best radio show entertainment thank you so much it's an encouragement and it, we have been doing this show for this is a second year in a row and it's really surprising and it's really an encouragement to see that the show has been nominated for this category and we do this for the glory of god and for kill the kingdom Amen. Glory to 
Glory and we, we thank people like Karen for just sharing and being willing to share um, for a double appearance. And I'm looking forward for Friday when we're going to be sitting back, we're going to be relaxing, and we're going to be listening to her as she talks about her story and this wonderful book, From Nightmares to Miracles, The Story of My Life. Look, We're looking forward to seeing you on Friday, and I want every single person you're on tonight rejoin us on friday the same time 9 p.m uae time 12 midday jamaica time in the u.s for the most part 1 p.m in nigeria it's going to be 6 p.m uh nigeria time and we want you to be a part of it my sister i want to thank you so much for being on tonight i hope i'm not leaving out anything tonight from this show for all those who have been on and you have shared in this message tonight from our sister we want you to reach out share in our social media pages as well and also if you're having events and you want her to come and be a speaker at your events or a mentor to mentor young people to mentor uh your your community people in your community you can reach out to her on this number one eight seven six eight one seven six one nine zero or send her an email at author karen cj at gmail.com all right my sister thank you so much for being with us tonight it's a pleasure having you and thank we, you for we having me fun, right? glory to god yes bless yes. you bless, you, bless, bless, you, bless the you. lord bless yes. the lord yes all right so all the best uh, cousin thank you so much hoping to have you on at some other time as well so thank you so much to so my sister yes. we'll release you tonight because you have done well and god has used you and we know that you will be back on friday to share much more mm -hmm. from your wonderful book and we'll go more thank in depth you. in your story thank you so much sis and be mm -hmm. god bless god be with you god bless you god bless you thank you bye-bye you you're welcome bye all right so for all those who are on tonight we really really thank you for for being on it's a pleasure having you on tonight if i'm leaving out anything we will share it on friday and we will share on our social media pages as well but this show has been a blessing tonight as always there are nights when we have issues with the internet which we have no control over but god has been really really blessing us and he has allowed us to have wonderful people like karen um c johnson to come and just share process proceeds purpose triple p process proceeds purpose do not get sidetracked by the process it might be long windy it might be discouraging it might look as if nothing is happening i think this word was specifically for me tonight and i hope that you will take this as a personal encouragement it doesn't matter what you're going through you might be going through a hard time might be going through a difficult time and i know even sometimes when you're going through that difficult time and you hear a word like this it might seem like this word is untimely it's not the best time because how could god say something like this to you when you're going through so much difficulties but guess what the process proceeds the purpose and the purpose will not die she shared her story of that pumpkin plant that she threw away and i i just want to share this one story before i close as she shared i remember i took an almond tree a plant a small plant all the way from montego bay i wrapped it i took some soil with it i saw it along the, the seaside I wrapped some, wrapped it with some soil in a plastic bag and I put water in it and I put it in the car truck. And I think I had it maybe a day or two in the truck. Brought it all the way to Clarendon and planted it on a piece of oak land across where I live. The almond tree grew so wonderful, wonderful, till it got to maybe about four feet tall and it was spreading and it was really looking good because i wanted to have it like a beautification project um on that piece of green space lo and behold one christmas mm -hmm. the parish council sent a tractor the tractor cleared the land i came home from work and all i saw was just a little piece of stub or stump in the ground just a little piece the tree was totally gone and i was mad i was furious you know what I did? I just went across the road and I just put like an old bucket around that little piece of stone. And I said, guess what? That's just it. The, the tree is gone because I never thought it would have flourished again. 
lo and behold, I went back a couple of days after, maybe a week or two after, I'm not sure how long after, and there was a little sprout. And I can tell you right now, that tree is maybe about 10, 12 feet tall. Uh, the last time I saw it, almonds were dropping off the tree and it was flourishing. <laughs> that same that same tree all because i went i nourished just the last part of it not even thinking it would really grow but when i listen to the story tonight for my sister of, of that pumpkin and how purpose will not die it doesn't matter what you go through and i'm encouraging myself because sometimes i think in my head hey all these things that are happening what's gonna happen next <laughs> but process proceeds purpose truly truly blessed i will not label the point anymore tonight but if you're on tonight i'm sure that god has spoken to you or sister tonight yes annette silvera thank you so much for joining and for being a part of the awesome music show if you missed the first part you can always go back on my page dlt music and you can find the full, full show, the full message today from our sister. All right. Bless you so much. All those who joined tonight to support our sister. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and share my page, DLT Music. Uh, find me on YouTube. Like the page. Subscribe. And just click on that notification bell. Once you do that, the next time we go live, there's nothing you have to do that just click on the link. You don't have to go through the long process. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, Tamika, we are looking forward to the interview. Awesome, awesome indeed coming up on Friday. So see you all. Thank you so much. Thank you what you go through. Joseph went through so much, even with his own family, but he came over on top and we want you to be encouraged as we close tonight it's your month father we want you to be encouraged we want you to be strength thank you so much be blessed everyone take care my name is friday same time same place on the same platforms for another awesome music spotlight our sister karen c johnson be blessed take care have a great night have a great day wherever you are my name is Leo T. It's another awesome day given to us by an awesome God to do some awesome things. And that's our tagline for the Awesome Music Show. See you soon. Take care. Be blessed.